Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina Muhammadin ibn Abdullah Al-Kaimu bi hukukillah Mada kati alla wa farjallah Today, the 22nd Muharram is the hall of a great saint The Shaykh Al-Tariqah of Shadiliyah Al-Arif Billah As-Sayyid Muhammad bin As-Sayyid Ali Wafa bin Muhammad bin Sheikh Ahmad Al-Maruf Naf'anullah bih He traces his ancestry to our beloved Holy Prophet Muhammad Al-Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Through Sayyidina Al-Imam Hussain Radiyallahu Anhu And he traces his spiritual roots to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through Fakhrul Wujud, Sheikh Abu Bakr bin Salim. Qaddas Allahu Sira. Sharif Muhammad Maruf was born and raised in Comoros in 1920. From a young age, he studied with the great Imam of the time, Al Habib Omar bin Ahmed bin Smit. Nafanallahu bi. He also went on to study from great scholars between Zanzibar and Comoros, such as the likes of Sheikh Swaleh bin Muhammad Pamba, Asayid Hamid Mansab, Ali Sheikh Abu Bakr bin Salim, Sheikh Suleiman bin Muhammad Alawi, and many others. He excelled in different branches of knowledge and piety of the highest order together with the chain of transmission. He arose as an elite knowledgeable alim and a close friend of Allah, but never showed who he was. He then traveled to Nairobi to spread da'wah, and then he met the Imam of the Jamia Mosque of Nairobi at that time, Maulana Asayid Abdullah Shah, who advised him to continue his journey, as Nairobi is not for him to stay. He thus traveled to Uganda and did great dawah there. He brought great revival in bringing people from worldly matters to remembrance of Allah. Due to his efforts and immense dawah in Uganda, it increased the popularity of Muslims. After the firm foundation of calling people to Allah in Uganda, he then moved to Nakuru and continued his da'wah until he was finally united with his Lord on Tuesday 22nd Muharram 1424 Hijriya, 25th March 2003. He looked after many Islamic projects, helped countless people in all walks of life, and brought his followers in the strong path of Tariqah to Shadiliya. He was always seen who withdrew from the world to remember Allah during the gatherings of Zikr. He would be in a state of composure and calmness. He was an extremely loving and welcoming person with all around the people. His spiritual presence was such that it outpours tranquility in our hearts and minds and reminds us of Allah and his beloved Holy Prophet Muhammad Al-Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The people who knew him loved him and remember him forever. As Imam Shafi'i radiallahu anhu said, Some people have passed away, but the character has kept them alive. Subhanallah. He was indeed one of the hidden pearls. May Allah raise his darajat, benefit us from him through his vast knowledge and blessings and allow us to attain his portion of his spiritual piety. Amin.